What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody had a great weekend. All right, guys, I hope you guys really enjoyed that last video I did of the Sojourner Rover. Uh, there was so much more in that photo to see, and I do actually believe that is actually there, meaning there are what look like post-apocalyptic ruins. And this video, in this particular video, I'm going to show you a photo. Not as awesome as that, but you're going to see something. I'm going to show you how NASA could easily hide things, but they don't. I'm also going to show what looks like they call a crater, and it's not. Let's get into it. All right, so this is the one we're going to be talking about. This is from, and you can see right here, is the Explor Exploration Rover Opportunity. And this is a uh, panorama that it had taken back, well, it was actually April 2015, or April 30th, 2015, my bad. Rock Spire in S Spirit of St. Louis Crater. And I'm going to show you what they're talking about. They're actually talking about right inside here. This, <clears throat> this scene from late March 2015 shows a shallow crater called Spirit of St. Louis, about 110 feet or 30, uh, 34 meters long and about 80 feet or 24 meters wide with a floor slightly darker than the surrounding terrain. The rocky feature to uh, toward the far end of the crater is about 7 to 10 feet or 2 to 3 meters tall, rising higher than the crater's rim. Yeah, I don't believe that for a moment. And, of course, you guys will get this page. I'll let you read this, too. Um, and this is what we're seeing right here. This is the photo. Now, what they're talking about is right here. Let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit. You got right here, it's 110 feet, going all the way around, you can see it. And then of course you got this little rocky outcrop, but why is it always, this is what this is what makes me laugh. You get some pretty good detail everywhere, right? Yeah, you get your rocks, you got your, you know, it looks like uh, uh, it might have been a, a lake bed at one point. Um, inside this crater, I'm not sure, but over here it always looks blurred out. Why is that? In spots they don't want you to see, that's where it's, that's what's crazy. And I'm also going to show you uh, over here. There's something laying right there, and, and it's got the outlines. But let me get into that, too, because you're going to love this. Um, let me just go ahead and jump out of that. Um, you can see there's different photos here. You can see they've been stitched together. You can see the different photos right here. All right, so let's get into the actual photo, because this is wild. Let me blow this up a little bit for you guys. And there we are. Now, let me just show you. <laughs> People have asked me, Chris, why do they leave this stuff in here? And I've always said, I think it's because they want anybody who wants to find the stuff, they can easily find it. You just have to look for it, right? Let me show you something I think is pretty bizarre. Now, this item right here in the back, and this is only a small piece. I'm just going to show you how they could get rid of this stuff, but they don't. Why? Because they want, actually, just some people out there that may be working for these companies, JPL, whatever, to say, hey, you know what? We're just going to go ahead and uh, throw you guys a bone every now and then, and we appreciate that more than you think. Okay, you got this item right here. What well, looks like, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit more. It goes like this, comes down. It appears to be something laying, and now look at the lines. You got to look for the lines of the shape. Whoop, didn't go like that. Let's just go this way. Go right down here. Kind of does this here, and it has something going down. I think it's part of something much larger. But anyway, and you can see what looks like a little half round circle right here and an actual whole circle there. Now, let me show you why they can easily get rid of this. They just look at it and go, OK, let's let's do this. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. I don't I don't need it. I'm, I'm, I just don't want to see it here. So why don't we just go ahead and get rid of this? I can simply move it aside. Boom. It's gone. It's that simple, guys. It's gone. Have a nice day. I think the reason why they don't do it is because under a computer or um, if they were to scan this thing the way, I don't know, if they, they got a special way of scanning these things, they can easily find that the pixel be, the pixels have been disrupted and they'll know this fakery about. Now, when they got the whole photo like this here, it is probably the real deal, meaning all the data is in the photo, the whole nine yards. However, they're just going over it. They're, like I said, they're just like doing a multi-layered photo and they can just block out anything they want with an overlay. And that's what they're doing. Now, I can bring it back. There it is. And then get rid of it. I can easily get rid of these things. Then why don't they? That's the whole point. So that's what I'm saying, guys. You just gotta be you just gotta be aware of what they can do here and how easy it is that they can get rid of this stuff and they don't. Okay. Check this out. Now, I don't know about you guys, but this doesn't look like a simple rock. Only because I'm seeing what looks like this it looks like this large piece of steel. I don't know if you guys can see that. Goes like this, and there's another one, goes like this, and goes in behind it. I don't know if you guys can see that right here. This is this one's coming down. 
looks like it's going like this, and this one goes like this, almost like like a fish hook or something going in the back behind this one. And you can see something right here very faintly. There's something right here. This looks like a rectangular block or something like that with a round circle. I hope you guys can see that. See that right there? Now, let me show you something. You guys will probably you guys have probably seen this uh, before. Now, if I want to do the same thing and say, oh, I don't like this thing right here, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. Watch what happens. Look, at, Because you got the, the background and the foreground, watch what it does. See how you can see that blurring? How many times have you seen that, that kind of weird blurring? Now, I'm not saying it's going to be exact like that, because I can go like this. I can easily move it down here. But either way, to see the blurring, it's there. You can't do that. And on, on the back over here, or on that other piece, I could easily do that, and it blends in pretty well. Like I said, I can go ahead and just do this, and just move it to the side, and you'd be none the wiser, right? It's pretty much gone. If I backed out, you'd be none the wiser. There you go. How many times have you seen cloning? That's because they're taking a piece from here and sticking it over there, and this is the reason why they're getting away with this crap. Okay, let's get on with it, because this is neat. What I see in here, most people would see like what looks like this crater, right? I don't see that. This is what I see. And once I enhance this thing, you guys are going to understand. I see what looks like a mound. And it's going like this. It's a, it's a mound. It's actually got height to it. But judging the way it looks, it looks like an indentation in the ground, as you know, they describe it like a crater, right? But have a look at these lines that are in here. You can see, this is without doing a thing to the photo, guys. You can see something go like this, like a wall. There's something right here. I can see this pretty darn clearly. Like this. Oops, went a little too far. But anyway, you'll see like separations in here. Looks like something weird, like some kind of, and it's got like in, it's got like, like lines to it, okay? This piece right here. You've got to look for the lines. It's the colors that they're trying to, 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 to really screw with your eyes with, and that's what you've got to pay attention to. Now, there's also something over here, and it's actually, I believe this, it almost reminds me like this weird step pyramid like we have here on Earth, where you've got the top of the mountain be up here, and then you've got like layers, and like, like this here, going down, like almost like steps all the way down, and there's something on each step. So, and I'm going to show you that right now. Let's go ahead and just clear this up a little bit. Now, look at the lines now that are starting to pop. Look at them now, and you're going to see this a whole lot better in a second. There's another thing I want to bring your attention to real quick. There's nothing here, right? Do you see any anything in this photo? I do, right here. And it's not just there, actually. It's actually this whole piece. You can see these crazy little lines, but what pops out is something that does this. It's part of something there, and I'm going to show you that right now. You can just see that line just barely, but once you burn it, all of the lines seem to pop out. This is what we want to do. We want to pop the lines because it doesn't matter if they camouflage it and make it look like a rock. What we're trying to see is the actual lines because the lines will show the shapes, right? Even if we can't see the actual colors of said item or, um, or what it may be, right? So the idea is to see what the shape of these things are and pop them out. Okay, so let's go a little further in there. Now you can start to see even more right here. Like I said, it looks like this weird wall thing going like this. Going off. Going like this. Coming down. And it has what looks like, and you're going to see this pretty soon. When I'm done with this, I'm going to show you the, the final enhancements. And it's, they're just all over the place. Again... Now we're starting to see the height of this. Check this out. Let me just back out this way instead of doing it manually. because I'll do it manually, rather. Um, check this out. This is sweet because you start to see from here to here, there's an actual ledge. There's something on this side that has other structures. Look, at it almost looks like there's something round right here, and it's got some height to it. You can see it. Okay? And see, you can see this piece right here going like this. I'm going to show you this a whole lot better, guys. And there's something right under it, almost the same exact thing. But what I'm saying is this it's like layered. Like here's another layer. Right here. See this right here? There's this one right here. There's a land or a landing right here. And so this whole thing right here is a landing. Now, 
Let me get into this further. I'm going to desaturate it. And now check this thing out. This is what I was talking about in the side right here. Suddenly this thing starts to pop. What the hell could that possibly be in a mountain? In, 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 this, in this round, in, well, I was going to say in this hill, but I'm just looking at the reason why I said that. It just popped because check this out. There's something right here. I don't know if you can see that guys can see this, but it goes like this. You can see what looks like a circle or a half circle. It just kind of stops right there, but you can see another inner ring part of it. I don't know if you guys can see that. You know, right here. The lines tell all. Now, what the hell could this possibly be? Because look at this. There's something actually right here. Right here. The lines themselves. You expect to see this right here. See this way this this texture is on this hill, this supposed hill. It, it looks like just you know this is what you'd expect to see on a on a low res photo, um, and you know you can see pretty decent uh, detail. And then all of a sudden you see things that like have lines and shapes. Really? I mean you expect to see that from a distance away, but some of these things are just too crazy. Now look at this in the bottom. See these right here? Just these different shapes in this so-called crater. Look at this. Like I said, the lines tell all. It did something here. I'm not sure what they did here, but it's almost like they they just trying to go over this. Whatever they, this is, there's something else here, and this may be an opening. And somehow they just it this stuff in it. I'm not sure. But let's let's keep going on. I'm not gonna make this in too long. Okay. Again, you can see what it looks like from there's something right here. You've got this land right here. It looks like it does this. Wall right here. And you've got this U-shape. It almost looks like a U-shape kind of item, but it's got some depth. It's not, it's not, it's the other way they got it. They got to make it look like it's flat, so it looks like it's indented as opposed to actually standing up, right? Let's bring up the exposure. Zoom in here a little bit for you guys. Yeah, there's multi-layered. There's one here. You can see it here. And you can see what looks like shapes in here that don't belong here. See this? And this one goes like this. It's like you're seeing bits and pieces that are coming through the actual manipulation. And that's what it's all about. That's what you got to look for. Okay. Okay. Let's jump over here. And again, look at this item now. What does that? And you can see right here, it's smooth. Take a really good look at the... And, and real close at this thing right here. Right in this very corner. It's not manipulation. It's actually something sitting right there. Right there in this very corner. It's as smooth as can be. Like they forgot to put any kind of manipulation over it. That very corner. But you can see the shape of whatever this thing is. It's laying right there, and there's other shapes inside this, too. Okay, so let me show you the actual completed photo. And this is what it looks like. To me, I could be wrong, but to me, this shows without a doubt. Check this out. Again, we've got something right in here. You can see it going like this. I don't know if you guys... I'm going to go ahead and zoom into this in a second. You've got from here down is like a wall type thing. You've got another platform from here to here. It's got height to it. This is not the opposite showing nothing. Something right here, like on the side here, you can see this right here. It's got height as well. Here. I was going to put lines like this showing you what looks like the, the height of the walls. And it looks like there's steps. One, two, coming down into each of these areas. Is it possibly well, a lot like the Mayans where they built on steps? Then in other words, they put this structure here. And then, of course, they had different layers of different things. Like they, like a lot of these uh, ancient civilizations, they'd have like, um, like gardens or grow food on certain levels and so on and so forth. Um, and you can see these actual pieces here laying here. To me, that's... <laughs> Guys, this is not a crater at all. This is actually something laying there. And it's got some serious height to it. And we've got this item right here. 
This back piece, like I said, I showed you this right here. That's something laying in the ground. See it? Right there. And of course, we take off the color. And there you go. Guys, and like I said, this is just one more piece of the puzzle. And what we're seeing, and I'm going to go ahead and color this for you guys. Not that it's going to make a huge difference. Go like this. Yeah, I usually pick the blue. Jump it down about, meh, let's go about 75. Uh, jump this one right around 9-ish. Okay. And there you go. It helps to, sometimes it just helps with the depth. It just seems to help a little bit. What do you guys think? You know, what do you think we're seeing here? I'm seeing what looks like where they're trying to make it look like a simple indention in the ground, meaning a crater. I'm seeing depth. I'm seeing lines in here that show there's something standing upward and not in the ground. And that's, again, how they mess with your perception. And, and, and like I said prior in this video, like I said, I don't... I can easily get rid of these items. I don't I don't need to keep them here. If I really wanted to, like I said, I just go ahead and... Eh, I'm not, I really don't like that too much, so we'll just go ahead and zap that out of there. And there you go. I mean, you can see it right there. We can see where it's lighter. So if I really wanted to, I can go like this. Well, let's do, it, let's do it even closer. Make it really look... Really blend in here, right? Okay. So let's do it this way. Keep it in that same color area. And there you go. What, what item are you talking about? Where's it at? Where's it at? So they could easily do this, but I think our friends, some of them that are maybe disgruntled or just really want to get this information out, or is it a, just a decision on their part to say, you know what, let's slowly bring this stuff out. Let's, let's drip this stuff. And if they are doing that, thank you guys for doing it. Okay? But I'm looking at this and I'm just going, see, again, from a distance, it looks like that's what it is. It's a crater. And it has this right here, the way they explain it. And you see it right here. You see Rock Spire in Spirit of St. Louis Crater. So this is the Rock Spire they're talking about right there in the middle of the crater because this is supposed to be 110 feet uh, in length and 80 feet width. That's pretty big. That's a pretty big area. So it wouldn't surprise me if there was some kind of structural object in there. You guys be the judge. What are we seeing here? The point is they're seeing something in these photos. Check this out. You can see the actual tread marks to the rover right here. Okay. And now keep in mind, the it's a good size rover. It's not the Sojourner, which is pretty small, where these uh, Opportunity and Spirit rovers, they were pretty big. Now check this out. All it's got to do is go from where it's at here, and you can see the, the wheel marks right there on the ground. Move this up. And it's just going to go simply over to this area here. Okay, if this is 110 feet by 80 from here to here, okay, that makes about sense. This could very well be structural. It could be a foundation or something. Um, it looks like some kind of foundation or there's actually still structuring still there. At least that's the way it looks like to me. Guys, give me your thoughts. What do you think it is? What do you think we're seeing here? Anyway, guys, I'm not going to keep it too much longer. Just wanted to show you that real quick. Um, I got some good ones coming up pretty soon for you guys also. Um, I know some of you guys are still sending me pictures and stuff like that. I'm going to try to get to them as well. Um, so, you know, stay tuned for that. Anyway, guys, uh, like I said, thanks for watching. Always appreciate it. Make sure you share, uh, rate the video, and most importantly, give me your comments. You guys have yourself a good uh, week coming up, and we'll see you in the next one.